Thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Please subscribe to my channel, leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. Y'all, at the end, I'm going to tell you about the $1,000 giveaway that I'm having on this channel. Stay tuned for that. You, you don't want to miss the information for that. First of all, I want to say thank you for all the support that you give me on this channel. I really do appreciate you for that. Okay, Social Security. People are asking me, what about the stimulus check? They get Social Security. Will they get it? Yes, you will get it. If you get SSA, SSDI, SSI, VA, or Railroad, you will get it. Basically, if you got the check last time, you will get this. I know every time... The stimulus questions comes up. People are worried about the Social Security people. Will they get it? Can y'all just imagine what would happen if they ever left Social Security people out of a stimulus check? It wouldn't be pretty, y'all. So don't worry about that. You will get the check. President Biden said on CNN yesterday, he said, when we took office, he had promised the, pe the American people that help was on the way. Today, speaking of yesterday, we took a giant step in delivering on that promise. Yes, he did. But it wasn't as quick as he said. He said right after he takes office. But I am grateful that it is finally happened. So thank you, President Biden. Ron Johnson tried to hold up everything with his wanting the the entire bill read by the clerk before they would do anything on the bill. And he has that right to want that done, but the only reason he wanted it done is he thought he was going to hold up things. Well, y'all, it looks like maybe it might have backfired on him because... All the other senators, nobody was in there to hear it. They didn't think it was important enough to sit in there for 11 hours and to listen to someone read the entire text. So they didn't show up. The only person that was in there was Ron Johnson, and he was playing on his phone the whole time. So it might have backfired. They might have got a little ticked off at him and started working even faster. Someone asked me in the comments, if they got the stimulus check before, will they get it this time? Yes, you should get it this time. The only caveat would be if your income threshold is above $80,000 for single or if you're married above one hundred and sixty. dollars So if you got it last time, you'll get it this time. People are worrying about garnishments. Can their... Stimulus check be garnished. No, this one will not be garnished. If you owe the IRS, child support, or any other kind of bill like that, it will not be garnished. Someone asked me, I made the comment the other day that the Senate could make all the changes they want to. And the House could say yes to everything that they wanted until it comes back to the house and then the house didn't have to uh, go along with it anymore they could pass the original bill through on they asked me what would happen with that could they still pass the original bill through yes they could but they won't because the bill that the senate has sent back to them well, they, I don't know if they sent it back to them yet or not, but the one that they've agreed on is so close to the original, it wouldn't make sense to fight it anymore. Uh, it's almost the original bill. So the House will pass this bill, most likely. Y'all, if the House don't pass this bill, that's a very bad thing. Uh... They could hold out for the little bit of changes that, this, that the Senate made, but it's not worth it.
Because if they hold out, if they don't pass it, then this whole bill is just garbage and they will have to start over. Imagine all the months we'll have to wait again. So let's just pass this bill and get it done and live to fight another day. Someone asked me about retro stimulus checks. Y'all, people can ask, what about this? What about that? Can we get this? Can we get that? Y'all, let's just be happy we're getting a stimulus check right now. We can fight for these other things later. And retro stimulus checks, I don't believe you'll ever see that. So I would say get that out of your mind. It's not going to happen. Okay, let's get on to the Senate's bill, what they agreed to and what they passed. Okay, $1,400 for individuals that make $75,000 or less. At $80,000 worth of income, they would be cut off hard. All dependents will get $1,400. That's adult dependents and children dependents. Couples will get $2,800 if they make one fifty dollars or less. And it would be cut off at one sixty. dollars The minimum wage stays the same. It's not in this bill. And we knew it wouldn't be because it's not government spending. It's a mandate. It can't be in this bill. $350 billion will go to state and local governments. $510 million will go to FEMA for food and shelter programs. Unemployment will be at $300, not $400, but it will be extended until September. So that's an extra four weeks that they'll get. Plus, the first $10,200 will be on, from unemployment will be tax-free. So with those extra four weeks plus this 10200 unemployment tax-free, it works out to the same $400 per week. It's just sent out differently. SNAP food programs extended until September. $20 billion for uh, rental assistance. $10 billion for mortgage assistance. Child tax credit, they say starting in July, maybe uh, $250 uh, per month for child tax credits. $130 billion will go to reopening schools safely, and that will be installing air filtrations, uh, the supplies that they need to make it safe to go back to school, like masks hand sanitizer, stuff like that. $15 billion for EIDL programs. $25 billion for restaurant and bars because they was hit the hardest. $7 billion for PPP money. That's not a lot for PPP, but if you remember, there's a lot of PPP money left over from last time, and it wasn't used. That reminds me, someone did ask about all the money that was left over from last time. Why can't they send that out to the people too? And again, I would just say, let's be happy we're getting a stimulus check now. The more we say, why can't we do this or let's change this, the longer it's going to take. So let's be happy with what we're getting and fight another day. There will be no more holdups. This bill has passed the Senate. Uh, that Now it goes back to the House, and the House has all said that they're good with it. They will pass it. Uh, so it's just a matter of time now. Joe Biden will sign this into law in the middle of the week. And we will be getting the checks out faster than we did last time. Be expecting it around the 16th through the 20th of March. 
So it's a lot faster than last time. And Ron Johnson did not get his way of holding things up. Y'all, again, I understand people wanting other things in the bill, but let's just be happy we're getting a stimulus check right now and the stimulus bill right now. This is all good news, and people could pick it apart and make it into bad news if they want to, but I'm looking at all of this as good news. Okay, to the $1,000 giveaway that I'm having on this channel. The rules of the contest is going to be in the description box below. Uh, you know, the original uh, contest was going to be for the end of February if we had reached 100,000 subscribers. Now, we did not reach 100,000 subscribers then, so I extended it until we reach 100,000 subscribers. Once we reach 100,000 subscribers, 10 lucky people will get $100 a piece, making a $1,000 giveaway. Y'all, the, the complete list of rules is in the description box below. I have no sponsors for this contest. It is coming straight from a bank account. Also, it will be coming to you through PayPal. If you don't have PayPal and your name is randomly picked, you will have to give me your address to send you a money order. Y'all, I love you all. Keep your faith in Jesus Christ. We will get out of this. And I do see light at the end of the tunnel. Say a prayer for our country. Say a prayer for our leaders. Whether you like them or not, they need our prayers and support. Say a prayer for everyone around the world that's hurting through COVID, financial problems, or any other afflictions. The whole world needs a healing. I only know one person that can do that, and that's Jesus Christ. Y'all, I love you all. Until next time, ciao.